So you might be familiar with Mixamo and its auto rigger. So normally what you would do is you would drop in your character, click next, bind these dots and it automatically generates a rig around your character. Like right here, for example, we have a custom character that is almost perfectly rigged, as we can tell by the hand movement. So if you click next and you go into any animation, like this one, for example, we can tell that it's basically perfect. But what if you have a character that is laid out like this, for example, and it's not in a T-pose, like is required in Mixamo, and it's got no binds in his fingers. So what would you do in this case? Well, luckily there is a solution. So to do that, we're going to have to go into Mixamo again, search for a T-pose, and we have a T-pose right now, and simply download it. Okay, so once you've got it into your favorite 3D modeling software, this is what you should see. You should see a very perfectly laid out bone system. So from here, what we want is to copy this mix ammo bone system, go back to your Gerald and paste it. So from here on, on, you might have guessed it, all you have to do is mount this skeleton into Geralt itself. And the way you would do that is by getting a reference to Geralt, like this one for example. Always remember to replace it to zero, like this. Okay, now we have Geralt at the position zero, which is what we want. And now all you have to do is, and now all we have to do is reposition these bones, like this one, for example. So you take the bone system one by one, reposition it to its hands, for example, in this case. And once you're happy with your results, you're going to go into character, you're going to have to bind it. And this is how it should look like after you bind your bone system. So after you bind it, your character should look something like this. So after you have your bone system corresponding to Mixamo bone system, you don't have to do a T-pose. So all you have to do is go and export it as a FBX file somewhere into your system. And after you're done, simply just upload it. And once you've uploaded it, you should have your character moving perfectly fine, as we can see by the finger movement. So it's basically flawless. And now we can do whatever we want with it. We can do a T-pose with it. As we can tell, all the bone systems are working perfectly. So that's how you rig any character for your game. I hope you learned something from it, and I'll see you in the next videos.